Our guest this afternoon is Pen Hong Tong, and she is the author of Lao Cuisine. Welcome to the show. How are you? Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm good. Now, you have your own television show. Yes. You've written a cookbook. Yes. You're a wonderful chef. Thank you. I just want to know, how did this begin for you, Pen? How did it begin? Oh, my God. It began when I, I started cooking. I don't remember how old. I was very young because I have big family. I have, like, nine eight siblings, including me, is nine. So I always in the kitchen with my grandma. And when I, when I start, start um, to cook professionally, I was... Um, Actually, I was looking for someone to co-author my cookbook, and when I called Newsday, and they said, no, I already have a full-time job, but I can do a story on you. I said, oh, okay. But I always love to cook, but I don't want to cook every night in a um, restaurant. But okay. I said, what can I do with cooking that I don't have to cook every night? And I said, I mostly want to show people how to cook simple, healthy, and very tasty meal. That's what I want to do. I thought that um, if you go to a restaurant, you go eat, and you go home, you don't really learn anything. I really want to show people how to cook my food. Now, let me see your book. You have a couple of cookbooks yes, here. This is my first one, Simple Laotian Cooking. Okay. And Simple Laotian, Laotian Cooking. cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and what year did you publish this? That's 2003. Okay. And what is in store for the reader? Many recipes? That one has many, many recipes, 147 recipes. Okay. Most That's of them unique to you and your culture and things like that? I, all the recipes I learned from my mom and grandma's. It's beautiful. What yes. a wonderful thing that you're sharing. Thank you. How has this been received? You have so many things in here, like pens, fried meatballs, grilled pork, yellow curry, chicken. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just a very interesting assortment. Yes, everything and anything that's Lao food. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. And about what is about your co second cookbook? Mm -hmm. so this the second one is called um, Healthy Lao Cuisine because Lao food is already healthy, but I'm making it more healthier and more simple because um, the way my mom cook is like took all day. She's like, Mom, can we, when can we eat? You know, she's like uh, collecting so many ingredients and all that. I'm saying, Mom, there's got to be a way that we can cut down on this. That's why I simplify the recipes and then I wrote the cookbook. So just a few ingredients. Each mm -hmm. thing here has, you know, really no more than 10 ingredients. Some have six, That's you right. know. It's it's very easy to look through. And this one has photos this time. Yes, it's a right? color picture for every recipe is an ingredient because I want people to be healthy. Like you go home, you know, everybody have a job or two or three sometime. You go home and one, two, three, you have a nice and healthy meal. So I just want to show, like, do you know that Lao food is gluten-free and dairy-free? I did not know that. Ah. Until I look it up, I said, what is gluten? And I look it up, I said, oh, my food is gluten-free and dairy-free. But very we nice. don't have dairy to begin with. Right, you don't, right? No, yes. we don't. No dairy. <laughs> What's the most um, interesting thing about Lao cuisine Lao that somebody cuisine. doesn't know, that's mm -hmm. misunderstood? Mm -hmm. It's different than somebody yes. says, oh, it's this. And you're like, no, it's not that. No, it's not. Right. It's a, it's a Chinese. No, it's not Chinese. Right. It's between um, Thai and Vietnamese and Laos, I would say, much healthier because we use a lot of fresh herbs. I'm a herb girl. People call me herb lady because <laughs> I grow a lot of herbs. I grow all kinds of herbs. So I have to put a lot of herbs in every dish that I make. So I don't, we don't have fresh herbs. We don't cook. That's our key to, to, look, um, to cook. Lao cooking. Ah, that's the secret. Yes. The magic. A lot of fresh herbs. And you brought a little magic for us to taste. What I did have, you bring me today? I brought you, and for appetizer, I brought you fresh spring rolls. Okay. That is a carrot, mint, scallion, cilantro, lettuce, and tofu. Oh. With a gill for the color and carrots for the color. So with my honey peanut sauce, so make it healthy. Oh, I'm gonna wow. jot that very soon. Yeah, I'm gonna jot in my honey peanut sauce. Oh, that is so delicious. Yeah, gonna, okay, and, and wrap it the rice papers. Okay, and the second one is um, this is salmon with dill, lemongrass, garlic, onions, and red peppers. Um, uh, scallion, did I say scallions? And um, a little bit of fish sauce and wrapped in banana leaves. So I took off the banana leaves, so I call it fish in the banana leaves. And this is sticky rice. Lao household, you have to have sticky rice, <laughs> and you have to eat it with your hand. You gotta pick it up and make you have it to eat it with your hand. Yes. That's part yes. of your tradition? Yes. Well, my hands mm -hmm. are clean because I just washed uh -huh. them. So yes. I would be happy yes. to do that for you. I will honor Please. you with your culture and I will Amy. try that. Yes. And what's the other item? The other one, that's dessert. I call it floating melons because I have here honeydew, cantaloupe, and corn. People like corn for dessert. And I, you know, I thought the same thing when I first came here. I saw um, corn and beans with the meal. I said, 
no, you don't do that. That's for dessert. So I'm thinking other oh. people think it's the same, the opposite. Okay. So um, I have corn in there and also um, gelatin in the coconut milk with honey oh. to make it healthy. So I want you to taste. Okay. So just, I'm will you have some, show me, it up. teach me pen. You pick it up. Okay. With your hands, see, it stick together. Like regular rice, you have to pick, um, they, they stick right. with your hands. Okay. But this stick together, you don't stick with your hands unless you play with dirt. Got it. If you play with dirt, they'll stick on your hands. Right, and this doesn't. This right. is like so magical. Stick together, yes. <laughs> it is sweet rice, it's sticky rice. Yeah, stick together, and then you dip in the food. Okay. You know, or you just pop it. Just you pop it just, in. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, so we are going to enjoy this. Um, and what would you say to someone, as we would say, uh, either bon appetit, or mm -hmm. we would make some, you know, enjoy. What What would you say? We say, sun sap, that means enjoy your meal. Sun sap. Thank you, Pen. I'm you going to enjoy this very much. Oh, and how I could people so. find out more about you? More about me at my website, Lao Chef, L A O C H E F, Lao Chef. This is my oh, you first just put time. in my name and you just find me everywhere. Yes, put in Pen. Yes, you'll find her everywhere. Okay, in enjoy. Uh, please take a look at her wonderful, delightful things. I'm going to be trying this. It's yes, gonna, I know it's going to be delicious. It smells so good, and this is fun, mm -hmm. fun food uh, that you're okay to eat with your fingers. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Stay tuned for more on mm -hmm. Live It Up. Cheers.